small titties and a baseball bat. I'm trying to find out where the bitch stays at. One wrong word could get your face smashed. Shit, one wrong look could get your face cracked. Bitch, 745 with the pinky and Syria. I see a sex doll when I look in the mirror. Turn the shit up high so you can hear me. From the 562, yeah, bitch. Hi guys, it's me, Amari Jazz, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today, I guess I'm going to be doing like a little vloggy vlog. And today is. <clears throat> What's today? Today is Thursday. Today's Thursday. I work night shift at my job. I work at HelloFresh as a picker. I prepare orders for people who um, pick a meal, the description that they want. Right now, I'm getting ready. Me and my cousin work at the same job, so she's going to take me there. I work there, um, well, my availability is pretty much open there. Um, yeah, so I have open availability, so I can work every day. And that's what it's probably looking like this week. Like I work to, um, I work to Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and I think even Tuesday. And I work at HelloFresh from Wednesday, Saturday. So that's what I've been doing. Right now I'm just getting ready for Hello Fresh. I'm so grateful though that I had this opportunity to support myself. I know you guys are probably like, why do you work all the jobs or why are you doing all that? For a lot of reasons, but the main reason is for college, you know. For college so I can support myself and I can pay for my um tuition because even though FAFSA is doing a good job supporting me um we're trying to get my education I still need you know real money but they don't take care of all of it you know I don't have a full ride scholarship so the part that they don't take over <clears throat> ranges from 2300 to 4300 and since i've been here i haven't actually completed four classes in one semester you know and i've had to drop several of my classes or i've been kicked out of classes during the semester due to not being able to afford my tuition <clears throat> and i'm just tired of that basically i want to be able to pay my tuition in full once i get that amount you know and this job thankfully is going to be able to award me with opportunity so i'm just grateful and also right now i'm really working hard so i can get my license i can get a car i can start exploring my city going out more living my life and you know being more independent so yeah one day at a time I feel like I haven't given you guys a full, like we haven't had a real, real talk for why the background has changed, why I'm in a new area, or why I even decided to move to San Francisco. Just a lot of things I feel like that I didn't officially update you guys on. And that's because a lot of things, like, I feel like during that time, like, I just wasn't interested in, like, oversharing anymore i feel like i've just been oversharing so much of my as well and i just didn't like the feeling you know i felt like i was selling myself in a way and i didn't like that feeling and that was mainly because of instagram like i was tired of like all the guys reaching out for me not because they wanted a relationship just because they wanted what they wanted you know not that i was cool cool person or whatever or anything like that they just whatever about my content or what i was posting because i don't know i always felt like if you guys truly like me if you truly like what i was posting you would support me you know but then you know now tiktok but now it just feels like you have to have this amazing setup you know this amazing setup this 500 hundred dollar camera all these things to be successful and it's kind of like I understand where they're coming from, from the audience point of view and from the creator point of view, why that may be necessary. But it's just, 
you know, it makes it feel less organic, more like a business. Even though it is a business, but still. I'm more like work. You know? But I don't know. Win some, lose some. But I'm back posting consistently. I want to grow my channel. I have a lot of goals in mind for this channel and where I want it to go. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. And it's in the quality of my channel, <laughs> you know. But right now, this is where I'm at. If you like what I'm doing, you want to support me, keep watching. And I also think that I definitely want to keep my channel like centered on fashion i feel like in like the first few years of my channel i've just been experimenting with various youtube channels and also i didn't want to be in a bubble and i feel like a, a niche was limiting and a slow death for your channel like after you get your little boost then your channel slowly dies down because like how many videos can you make about this one little thing so yeah, that's how sometimes i feel about the natural hair community like natural hair and makeup community it's like how many little videos can you make about this thing so it's like this winders out because you put yourself in only i only make videos about this right but i feel like fashion is such a big industry it's such a huge industry and i feel like um it's my passion you know it's my passion it's, I, it's what i love it's my career it's what i'm pursuing and it's something that if i am gonna um make videos about that's what i want to make videos about not about random mukbangs or whatever. That kind of my vlog style, like this, Summer Diaries or whatever. <clears throat> for those who want to get to know me on a personal scale. And also my other videos for just in general. But yeah. But I'm super excited though. Summer's coming up. <laughs> Summer's coming up. And I'm going to go to Miami for my birthday this year. I really seriously wanted to go to Hawaii, like, so bad. Like, I wanted to go to Hawaii so bad. But I'm not going to lie. This year, I made, well, not even this year. Well, I guess this year, yeah. I made a poor financial decision. For my life, it was amazing. But for my pockets, it wasn't the smart decision. And that was going to San Francisco. <clears throat> underprepared I think I knew what I was getting into but I didn't know what I was getting into I didn't know the gravity of <clears throat> what I was getting into and I paid the cost it wasn't fun it's not fun when you can't afford to um, maybe this season y'all thought it was but yeah, it's not fun when you can't support yourself, when you can't take care of yourself, and you're asking your family and friends for money to support you, you know? Or when you go out there and then you lose the job before you can get a chance to work it, just based off no longer needed. You know, you didn't flew literally across the country to pursue your dreams in fashion, to work at Macy's or whatever, and then you get a call and telling you, hey, so even though we did offer you a position, give your start date, <clears throat> the position is no longer available. And now you're scrambling in a week to try to find a job. And then you do, you score a job at Kate Spade, New York, New York, which to be honest, that was an amazing opportunity because I never thought I was gonna be able to work in life. I don't know, I feel like sometimes I doubt myself. I doubt my skills. You know I shouldn't, you know? I know a lot. I'm a smart girl. I should have more confidence in myself. But I do now. I do now. But yeah. So basically, me going to San Francisco put me in debt, basically. Me going to San Francisco put me in debt. Um, Yeah. I put me in debt. I wasn't able to pay for my tuition. I ended up having to drop all of my courses and still was left to pay the tuition or be kicked out of school altogether. And then I ended up having to leave my job to come back to Atlanta because I couldn't afford it anymore. 
I couldn't afford it and I was gonna be kicked out of school and I wasn't gonna be able to pay all that stuff and then continue to school. Yeah, so you guys didn't see that I was um I was in a relationship with this guy. While all that so yeah, I was in a relationship with a guy while all that was going on, like trying to find um a way to take care of all my bills, take care of my tuition and get accustomed to being in, in like actual in person classes. It was a big adjustment and working and living in San Francisco, you know. And in the beginning with the relationship, everything was hold on, I grab it. I need to find a hair bow. But yeah, in the beginning, the relationship was perfect, you know, it was all, yeah, it was perfect, you know. I really loved him, I really cared about him, and even, like, when he reached, or well, when I reached out to him, well, to be honest, when he reached out to me, I, um, was still struggling with my own personal issues, but, you know, I decided to be kind, be considerate, help him out when he was going through that rough time, and we was able to... We kindle our old flame, you know. But I still was going to pursue moving to um, California. Now, that was not going to change no matter what. <laughs> no matter what, that was going to happen. And when I did move to California, it didn't feel like a, you know, some people, like, so they do something, it feel like an immediate shift and change. It wasn't like that. Like, he was still supportive and stuff, but it was just a lack of effort with calling. You know, he wouldn't reach out as often. And it was a little bit weird to me because, you know, he didn't have a job. He didn't have a job. He didn't have any real responsibilities that were going to prevent him from reaching out to his girlfriend. And then, plus, for me, I just didn't understand, like, how, if you understand, someone is, um, going through a rough time financially how you're not there to really help them for real you know and the relationship i feel ended you know and i feel like it ended while i was in that um stressful situation you know and i feel like it ended because he was jealous he was jealous he was insecure and he probably was talking to somebody else and I feel like he was just using me as, like, some type of drug to make him feel better about his um, his life. But I'm also grateful for that. Because if I was with him, I probably wouldn't have had to drive after when I got back to um, get a job, get a car, and get my life um, moving again. So I'm grateful for that experience. So when I came back, you know, from... San Francisco, I was distraught, you know, emotionally and physically low key. I was tired. Living in San Francisco, it was no joke. It was physically demanding in a way that I didn't expect it to be. Like, it was so much walking and everything was a heel. And I was always sweating, always sweating. In my uh, bunk bed, I was living on just too much, too, too much. But yeah. So when I finally did come back home to um, California, I mean, when I came back home to Atlanta, Georgia, I was hurt, you know? I was hurt. I, I was went through so much. I felt sad, I felt embarrassed. I was like, um, I went all the way out here and I had to come back with my um, tail in between my legs or whatever. I was just embarrassed, you know? And I didn't want to come. I was applying for, they were either too far away for me to get to or I was just overqualified for the position you know and it was like that consistently and that's what made it so difficult for me to get a job you know until Michael Kors came along and I've been um pursued by Michael Kors in the past prior to um going to San Francisco like they were interested in hiring me at a San Francisco boutique in the... Huh? Stay here. You're going. I'm going. Huh? I'm going. Come on. Okay, I'm getting ready, Serena. Hey, I'm going to take this over quick. 
To Rochelle? You taking Rochelle to the store? Yeah. Okay, all right. But yeah, so finally, but yeah, so, and I bombed the interview the first time, like, I, I was, I think I was just so nervous to work for Michael Kors, and I wasn't confident in myself that I just bombed the interview, you know, and then, but then out of that, they still reached out to me again, and I was so confused, I was like, what, you guys are still interested in me after I, like, didn't do that well, my interview? But I ended up not pursuing Michael Gores when I was in San Francisco because I already had got Well, I was really, well, I was so nervous because at that point, every single job that, did I say that? She just wants to Anyways, sorry. But at that point, I was, um, I had no other job that was interested in me, you know? Every job at that point kept telling me no, 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 no. I'm not interested. I'm not interested. No, thank you. No, thank you. Um, maybe sometime was my availability or what have you, but everybody was just telling me, no, 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 sweetie. And then I reached out to Michael Kors. I was like, hello, you know, I'm just trying to check up on the status of my vacation. And she did like a brief screening of me. And then she asked me to come in for an interview. And the interview was not what I expected. Like, I expected it to be, like, a traditional sit-down, ask you a couple questions, and type of interview. But it was, like, a um, sales-style interview, which was cool. It was unique. Where I had to create an outfit for a customer. I had to create an outfit for a customer. And, um, yeah. And when I did that, I was pretty confident. I was myself. I was happy, and I was grateful. And it was, like... A few days later, they were supposed to reach out to me, and I was just so eager that I just, even then I reached out to them too. And they told me like, "Hey, we're going to offer you a position." And then after that, I was so happy, so grateful, and it kind of felt like all the drama and issue that I was going through finally like let up a little bit to where I can breathe some. You know, I'm not as stressed as I was. No, I don't know why you thought that. Say you, shut up. Damn, get my fucking nerves. Anyways, um, yeah, so right now, I'm just trying to build myself up from all the drama that I've been previously and get back on my feet, get a car, start moving forward with my life, and soon get my own apartment. That's my next goal. I think get my car, get my own apartment, get the hell up out of here. And be on my own. So, yeah. I'm going to head to work. I'll probably talk to you guys when I get there. And, yeah. I'm a pain in your rectum. Y'all slept on. Guys, so I made it to work. Right now, I'm just chilling before I have to start. I'm going to start at 7. And then have a few breaks, and I'll probably talk to you guys on my break. The drive was alright. It was a nice, chill drive. It felt longer than usual for some reason. But yeah, it's a nice little area. It's bigger. Way bigger than I thought. I was like, dang, this is like some small little warehouse. It's actually quite big. Cute little view, too. Okay, it reminds me of prison, but. <laughs> yeah, I'll talk to you guys possibly on my second break. Hi, guys. Alright guys, so I just finished my shift at my job and now I'm on the way home 
it's like 5 30 or 5 40 right now and i have to go to work today at 9 to michael kors and i'll probably talk to you guys when i get home i'm not sure if i should like go to sleep or if i should just not i don't know biologic and psoriasis and visit skyrizzy.com or call 1-866-SKYRIZZY to learn more mostly cloudy chance of showers high near 69. The weather report is sponsored by the Super Lawyer Original Green for auto and truck accidents with injury. Call the Super Lawyer and get the maximum recovery and the most money at 866-4LAW-411 or go to thesuperlawyer.com. So right now, today is Tuesday. <sighs> mm, mm, mm. I registered for classes yesterday for four classes for my fall semester and... I get paid tomorrow night and I'm gonna take my driving class. I don't know what day. I need to actually look at that. I need to look at that. Yeah. work week of my other job and then I work my chorus for to a lot of days all the way till Tuesday and today is Saturday uh, but I'm grateful though great experience great time yesterday I'm so happy I was able to pay my school bill and get that taken care of so I'm happy about that Monday I'll be able to register for classes and then this week I'll be able to go shopping buy some groceries get some other stuff and yeah, so that's really good. It's gonna be real productive. I'm happy that slowly everything's getting taken care of. So yeah. See you guys in the video. Not the lipstick on the corner of my lip. That's how you know you're real. And I got the lipstick on the corner of my lip and my sideburn. What the hell? On oh, my head. But anyway, so I hate that. I'm crazy lip gloss that does not. But anyway, so right now I am at HelloFresh. Today is still Saturday, Saturday fucking night. But really it's Sunday morning. Technically it's 1.30 in the morning. And I'm at work. I work till 5.30 today. Today's been a long day, but it's been good. It's been a good day so far. It's been really crazy or like I'm ready to again. I had a good shift at Michael Kors. I just hate like, that I'm like low ranking like with my sales and I'm meeting my sales go like ever. I don't think I've ever met my sales go and I'm here for months now. I just need to be more aggressive. But I don't know how to be like aggressive but like still like myself. You know be long speech because it's long speech. Oh no, I gotta find a, a tattoo that works me. Because I make sales. I just don't push myself go. Like I'd be a hundred dollars short or something short or something like that. I just need to start reaching. But yeah, that's that with that. After that, um, I went home, changed clothes, and then came here. I was contemplating about coming. I was supposed to go to work tomorrow. I wouldn't believe I could have gone right around. I was supposed to go to work today, Sunday. I don't know, girl. I don't know the time loop. It's a time loop. But I'm not. I'm, I'm aware of what day to day. But I was supposed to go to work today. Two to nine, but turns out I looked at my clock again, and it wasn't that it would work. Thank God. I don't know. It's just kind of weird. Like some days I, like you even think we gotta go to work, whatever, whatever, and then the whole shift changes to switch early. Like today, I was just work ten to four, and then I look on it again to my ten to five. Like I just wish I could stay the schedule that it is. I don't know. That's the light. 
That's a light. <laughs> the light reflecting on my lip. Oh, that's light. Okay. The light. What had that much? I don't know. I don't feel nasty. I don't care. But anyways, yes. Yeah, so. So yeah, that's what's going on with me tomorrow or Sunday, whatever. But I am just gonna chill, like my only day off. I don't wear like a horror, I don't wear anything else fresh. I'm a free woman for 24 hours. Not even really, but I'm a free woman. Finally, I get to register for four classes, so I'm grateful about that. Four classes for the fall semester. My tuition gonna be around forty six hundred dollars, so I need to save up forty six hundred dollars cash. I'm not gonna do the home, whatever. And I feel like I can like take the I should take the classes that I didn't do complete last semester, but I need some new fresh start. But I'm gonna pass on my class this semester. But yeah. If you see me every single time and do every single group, you do good. But yeah, so I register for classes on Monday. I'm not ready about that. Do my work. I'm doing good. But register for work. Register for, yeah, for my academic probation. Because my grades suck. So I need to bring them up and I'll be off. I'm not really worried about that. But yeah, so. Class on Monday, I go to work on Monday, Tuesday, I go to work, Wednesday, I go to work, Thursday morning, I get paid, I'm going to start my uh, weight loss dieting routine, and to buy me a new lunchbox, um, buy me some shoes at Michael Kors, I need to go thrifting, I need to buy some stuff at Forever 21, and I think that's when the Google Air and H&M collection draw on to, they're talking about, I need to go to H&M too, they're talking about, and then, there's supposed to be some event, but I'm not gonna be able to go, cause I gotta go to work, I'm not better, cause I gotta go to work, because I need to just figure out my money situation, I need to bring my book for the book club that's coming up, like two weeks from that, so, that's my work, that's like, what's on my list or whatever, things I need to do, things that are coming up that I think that is good and then also like start my driving class in the air and then take my driving test and then purchase the car and then we look yes, today is Wednesday I'm trying to figure out how I'm supposed to get a new phone because my phone is jacked up and my laptop is jacked up I'm trying to get that situated so yeah that's what's going on I'm at work right now I'm still busy I'm going to find out where to say that. I'm going to find out where to say that. I'm going to find out where to say that. I'm going to find out where to say that. I'm going to find out where to say that. I'm going to find out where to say that. I'm going to find out where to say that. I'm going to find out where to say that. I'm going